The first thing you'll notice here is the starting position. The lower back on my side is quite rounded in comparison to Mark Beck's. I'll draw a line here just to show you. Also notice the angle. Mark Beck's angle is almost 45 degrees, whereas mine is probably about 30, 25 even. Part of this is down to the size of the actual plates. The weight plates on mine are smaller weight plates than the, than the ones Mark Beck is using. Although, I should still have better flexibility to get my back in a better angle and better position. As you can see here, Mark is almost parallel with the floor along there. Whereas I'm at more of an angle, so there's definitely room for me to get further down there, which should, which should improve the angle of my back. Now, this can be brought on by different issues. More than likely, it'll be a flexibility issue with the hip flexors. Although it could be a flexibility issue of the hamstrings, maybe even an, an agonist and antagonist problem with the quadriceps to the hamstrings. Just play this a little bit more for you. Now, before I play a bit more, the objective of the snatch to get the barbell from a resting position on the ground to a stable position over your head with your arms locked out. Basically using Newton's law of inertia. So, which is an object in motion will remain in motion unless acted on by an outside force. So what the plan is to do is as you lift the bar, the idea is to gain enough momentum and then get under the bar while the bar is still in momentum. Now you do this by thrusting your hips forwards during the lift. As you thrust your hips forward, you bring your arms, your elbows, keeping the bar as close to your body as you can, as high as you can, without actually jumping under the bar. So you basically, so there's an, an abduction there of the medial deltoids. At the, me at the medial deltoids. But what you'll notice here is how much further I am off the ground to mark. So I'm basically wasting valuable energy because you don't want to get too high off the ground because the idea is as soon as your feet leave the ground you want to be getting back down onto the ground to get underneath that bar as fast as possible. So straight away you can see the difference in the two. He's got the bar a lot higher than I have without having his feet as high as I have, which enables him to get through the movement a lot quicker. Just play a little bit more for you. Now, as we both catch the bar, notice the distance the bar actually travelled is not actually very far. It's our bodies that have actually gotten underneath the bar. Now the difference in this position now is down to your stability. Again, my flexibility isn't as good as Mark's for this exercise, being a beginner. Notice Mark's 
arms are a bit further back than mine are, so I could gain more flexibility in the shoulders, possibly in the chest. So it'll be my pectoralis major, which will be interfering here with my flexibility, although that can be worked on. Now, the movements that are involved during the snatch are carried out in the frontal and the sagittal planes. The majority of it is carried out in the sagittal planes, the squatting and everything else. But the initial lifting of the bar, the abduction of the arms is in the frontal plane. Now just watch the speed in which Mark gets a, gets a bar up in which he stands in comparison to mine. So you can see there, he's up much quicker than me. Some of this is down to the stability again, because of his flexibility, he's, captured, he's caught the bar in a much more stable position than me. I'm really having to think about, you know, keeping my balance and getting back up without losing where I am with the bar.